Welcome back to another episode of The Investing Iguana, where I help you navigate the jungle of personal finance, investing, and retirement planning. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to talk about a new technology ETF that was recently launched on the Singapore exchange, SGX. It's called the CSOPIH Southeast Asia Plus Tech Index ETF, and it's a mouthful, so I'll just call it the SQU ETF for short. Now, you might be wondering, what is an ETF, and why should you care about this one? Well, an ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund, and it's a type of investment that tracks the performance of a basket of stocks, bonds, or other assets. You can buy and sell ETFs just like regular stocks on the stock exchange, and they offer a convenient and low-cost way to diversify your portfolio. The SQU ETF is a technology ETF, which means it tracks the performance of 30 of the largest technology companies in Southeast Asia and emerging Asia markets. These are some of the fastest growing regions in the world, with huge potential for innovation and disruption. Think of companies like Alibaba, Tencent, C Limited, Grab, Gojek, and many more. These are the companies that are shaping the future of e-commerce, social media, gaming, fintech, and other sectors. Now, let's take a closer look at the geographic exposure of the SQU ETF. Where are these 30 technology companies based, and why does it matter? Well, the SQU ETF focuses on two regions, Southeast Asia and Emerging Asia. These are some of the fastest growing markets in the world, with huge potential for innovation and growth. According to the International Monetary Fund, IMF, Southeast Asia and Emerging Asia are expected to grow their GDP by 5.6% and 6.3% respectively in 2023. That's much higher than the global average of 3.9%. Why is this important? Because higher GDP growth means higher income levels, and higher income levels mean more demand for technology products and services. Think about it. When people have more money to spend, they tend to buy more gadgets, use more apps, play more games, stream more videos, and so on. And these are exactly the things that the SQU ETFs companies provide. We've seen this happen before in other Asian countries, such as Japan, Korea, and China. As these countries became richer, the technology sectors boomed as well. And now, we're seeing the same trend happening in Southeast Asia and Emerging Asia. These regions have a large and young population that is eager to adopt new technologies and digital lifestyles. According to a report by Google, Temasek, and Bain and & Company, Southeast Asia's internet economy reached $105 billion in 2020 and is expected to grow to $309 billion by 2025. That's a compound annual growth rate of 23%. And this growth is not limited to just technology. It also spills over to other sectors that benefit from digitization, such as travel, entertainment, communications, and transport. For example, one of the SQU ETF's holdings is C Limited, NYSE, SE, which is a Singapore-based company that operates three businesses, Shopee, e-commerce, Garena, gaming, and C Money, fintech. C Limited has been growing rapidly in Southeast Asia and beyond, thanks to its diversified offerings that cater to different aspects of the digital economy. So you can see how the SQU ETF's geographic exposure gives it an edge over other technology ETFs that focus on more mature markets like the US or Europe. The SQU ETF taps into the rising tide of growth and innovation in Southeast Asia and emerging Asia, which could translate into higher returns for investors. So why should you care about this ETF? Well, there are three main reasons. First, it gives you exposure to a rapidly growing sector. Technology is one of the most dynamic and exciting sectors in the world, with constant innovation and disruption. The SQU ETF gives you access to some of the leading technology companies in Southeast Asia and emerging Asia markets, which are expected to grow faster than the global average. Second, it offers diversification benefits. The SQU ETF covers a wide range of subsectors within technology, such as internet, software, semiconductors, and telecommunications. It also covers different countries and regions within Southeast Asia and emerging Asia markets. This means that you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, and you can reduce your risk by spreading your investments across different segments. Third, it has a strong track record. The SQU ETF is relatively new, so it doesn't have a long history. 
However, the underlying index that it tracks has performed well over the past 10 years. According to SGX data, the IH Southeast Asia Plus Tech Index has delivered an annualized return of 12.5% over the past decade. That's pretty impressive compared to other benchmarks. So those are some of the reasons why you should care about the SQU ETF. But before you rush to buy it, there are some things you need to know as well. First, the SQU ETF has a management fee of 0.65%. This is slightly higher than the average for technology ETFs. For comparison, the SPDR S&P Technology Select Sector ETF, NISERCA, XLK, which tracks U.S. technology stocks, has a management fee of 0.12%. The higher fee reflects the higher costs of investing in emerging markets. Second, the SQU ETF is volatile. Technology stocks tend to be more sensitive to market fluctuations than other sectors. This means that the SQU ETF's price could go up or down significantly in a short period of time. For example, in March 2022, when the global stock market crashed due to the coronavirus pandemic, the SQU ETF dropped by 27% in one month. However, it also rebounded strongly afterwards. Third, the SQU ETF is relatively new. The SQU ETF was launched on February 15th this year, 2023, so it doesn't have a lot of trading history or liquidity yet. This means that there may not be enough buyers or sellers at any given time to execute your orders quickly or at your desired price. So those are some of the risks associated with investing in the SQU ETF. You need to weigh them against the potential rewards before making your decision. To sum up, the CSOP IH Southeast Asia Plus Tech Index ETF, SGX, SQU, is a new technology ETF that tracks 30 of the largest technology companies in Southeast Asia and emerging Asia markets. The ETF offers exposure to a rapidly growing sector with diversification benefits and a strong track record. The ETF also has some drawbacks such as higher fees, volatility, and low liquidity. You need to consider your risk appetite and investment goals before investing in the ETF. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps us to understand what kind of content you want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe. Here at The Investing Iguana, we're dedicated to helping you navigate your financial journey with confidence and clarity. And guess what? There's plenty more where this came from. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos where we'll tackle other interesting financial topics like the best investment strategies, understanding the stock market, and how to make your money work harder for you. As always, we're thrilled to have you as part of our Investing Iguana community. Your support helps us keep producing free content like this. Remember, every like, share, and subscribe goes a long way. Thanks for joining us today. Keep investing, keep growing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.